guys, what's up? My name is Brittany. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari, and I am also a part-time YouTuber where I am documenting my reseller journey and giving you tips, tricks, and tutorials to help you on yours as well. And of course, to help you find the essentials to whatever your goal is in life, whether that's reselling, business, YouTube, whatever. I'm here to help. So in today's video, I have another Goodwill Bins haul for you guys. If you haven't checked out my thrift with me yet, I will link it up here for you guys. It was so much fun. It was my first time, so, so I promise all my thrift with me's will get a little bit better with each go around, but let me tell you, it's a little awkward filming in public, but this time I went to the Goodwill Bins in Houston. I actually went to their newest location, which I was in luck. There weren't that many people there, so I just kind of had all the time in the world to dig through all the bins myself. I was actually there for about three hours. And before I started filming, I just went ahead and asked the employees there if it would be okay if I uh, just filmed what I was doing. I wasn't intentionally filming anybody else. Um, it would just be kind of focused on what I was doing. And they said, yeah, that's perfectly fine. Thanks for letting them know. And I was good to go. So I was just, Tra -la 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 -la, like in the bins for a few hours and I forgot gloves halfway there. I was like, oh shoot, I forgot my gloves. So your girl had to scrub her arms again, but you know what, it's really not that bad. Um, I was just very mindful of where I was picking stuff. Um, and this one was really good about keeping clothes with clothes, shoes with shoes. There wasn't like an intermingling of hard goods where there was potential dangers with glass. So that was exciting. So I spent about three hours there. In those three hours, I got 78 pounds. And with those 78 pounds, I ended up getting 81 items. So in comparison to my last one, I didn't get as many items per the poundage, poundage? Not the right word I don't know but I got a lot of heavier items this time I will definitely obviously show you all of that um so that is why the ratio was pretty on par there because I went to the Houston one compared to the Austin one it was a little bit more expensive so it ended up being a dollar 79 per pound so regardless it's still like a ton of items right I have them all, all here these have all been pictured um and almost all of these have been pictured I think I have like 10 more to picture and then all of my shoes so okay so with it being a dollar 79 per pound and I got 78 pounds that was 139.62 and then to include tax my total ended up being a hundred and fifty one dollars and fourteen cents so those were my initial numbers um, throughout the video I will be giving you my rough expected sale price per item and so just keep in mind that I do price about five to ten dollars higher for most items just to give um, that wiggle room for negotiation so just keep that in mind but when I tell you the price that's what I expect it to sell for and then at the end I will calculate up everything that I expect it to sell for and then compare it to my initial cost of goods and see how much money can be made at the bin. I'll try to go through these as quick as I can, but there are no promises. <laughs> All right, so this first item, this was a fun item. So of course this isn't gonna be an order of how I found everything because who keeps up with that really? This was a fun item I thought it was super cute. It's like a Canadian apron and it has like just that canvas material, but it has like the maple leaf, the flag, just typical Canadian animals. And I thought that would be really cute for a for a Christmas gift, right? Isn't that cute? Oh, also, I had this NASA shirt. I picked this up from the bins, but I decided to wear it in today's video because I thought it was so cool. I think somebody cropped it. I think it was a um, just a normal t-shirt, but somebody cropped it, so it's like perfect size for me. And it's oversized, I think it's men's, but. All right, next is an RBX Active, just a cowl neck sweatshirt just an active wear it has like thumb holes on it so it'd be perfect for running outside during the cooler season but i just like i think it's called space dye is the pattern but i wore this in one of my recent videos um but yeah it's cute comfortable classic oh shoot i forgot to say so this apron i think i to make anywhere from like 10 to 15 dollars on it and then this rbx active wear sweatshirt i would expect about 10 to 15 dollars on it as well to sell at that price this next one is a men's staffer just kind of dress shirt um long sleeve button up i don't have it buttoned because i need to change out the hanger when i do my pictures on it um let's see the neck is a 17 and a half just a, a wrinkle free oxford which um i did have to iron it a little bit so i don't know how true that is but i love the colors just fun bright kind of blue and pink 
just a nice check pattern. I would expect this to sell anywhere from like 12 to $18, I'd say. This next one is, let's see. I know it's an anthropology brand, but I forgot what, I think it's just called like postcard or postage stamp or something. I haven't, I haven't pictured it yet and I haven't listed it. So that's why I don't know uh, as of now, but just to verify my thoughts, I checked the inside tag and all the way at the end, it said imported by anthropology. So that is why I picked this up. I thought it was kind of cute. It's not really my style, but it's like, I don't know. What would you call this? If you know, leave it down in the comments below. Hopefully I will get this out before I get it listed and then you can tell me or I can just update my listing. So um, I just picked that up. It was cute. Next is just a, oh shoot. See, I keep doing this. I think this will probably go for like probably 10 to 15 bucks. I remember people saying that this, this brand of anthropology doesn't sell well as well as other brands. So I still picked it up. I mean, it's anthropology and I've never sold it before. So you never know. This next one is just an American Eagle blue and pink flannel button up. Just really great for fall. Size small. It'll probably sell anywhere from 10 to $15. Oh no, fell off a hanger. <clears throat> Next one is just a soft surroundings, red kind of cold shoulder top. Some soft surroundings does well, but some doesn't. So I thought I'd give this a go. This would only be my second piece of soft surroundings, but I was like, okay, Christmas is coming up. Somebody might want to like look a little cute for Christmas. So maybe this might sell like 15 to $20. This next one is, I know this is a Target brand because I've seen it there before. Good fellow. Just a men's kind of blue, it's like a really soft cotton flannel, really soft. Anyways, I thought it was nice, love the color. It's a good basic, it'll probably sell like 10 to $15 because it is a Target brand, but it's nice. All right, next is Columbia PFG. It's a little boy's size large, just a button up. I pick up everything PFG because it sells well. Um, I'm not sure, I don't think I've sold any kids PFG. But I would reckon this would probably go like 12 to $18. Next is a sweater that I forgot to take a tag out of. Because if you don't know, at the Goodwill bins, um, whatever doesn't sell at normal local Goodwills, um, they kind of get pulled after a certain amount of weeks, maybe 12, 16, I think it's 16 weeks. They get pulled and sent to the bins. So um, a lot of items that I find end up having the original Goodwill like not the original, but like Goodwill's tag still on it. So those are usually like in really good condition for me when I found it. But this was just a loft, just a lounge sweatshirt. So just some loungewear for the house, but it's just a cute um, kind of cow neck. Is that cow neck? Yeah, like a cow neck there as well. And it was a size large loft. So this will probably go for like mm, probably 12 to $18. Next is a Land's End, and I've actually been enjoying picking up Land's End lately because it's been selling. For a long time it didn't sell, but now it's selling. So, and this was just like a nice heavyweight kind of cable knit sweater. It's just a pretty teal color. It's a size medium. Um, but yeah, it's just really nice, very well constructed. So I would reckon this would sell anywhere from like, 18 to 22 dollars on this one next is very pretty it is a no-name brand but i picked it up on style and i don't know if i'm gonna have to get another command strip to hang it up higher because it is a long beautiful like kind of burnt rust orange maxi dress isn't that pretty so long it's actually probably just as tall as me i'm like five foot so but I thought that isn't that a pretty color perfect for fall for October and November honestly um I don't know people some of my friends keep saying I should model stuff but this would literally go straight to the ground and I feel like I wouldn't do it any justice but it is so pretty um it was new with tags but it was it had that bin smell to it so it got washed with everything else. Um, and I forgot to mention that at the beginning of this video, but all of these items here and here, everything except the shoes. Yeah, everything was washed. Actually, there were two items that I needed to take to the dry cleaners, but two items dry cleaned. Everything else was washed, so I did have to remove the tags from this. 
Um, but I walk, uh, wash it with normal laundry detergent, some white vinegar because it helps to get rid of smells, a little bit of like OxyClean stain, not stain, smell remover, and some Tide scent poppable things, like the little smellies. Anyway, Unstoppables, that's what they're called. They're great. So everything was washable. And I only have to wash everything once now that I've kind of figured out the right kind of combo to get the smell out the first time. Um, so yeah, it was, so it's like, like new. It got washed once, but... Anyways, it's pretty. I picked up, picked it up. It might be a bad buy, but it would probably sell for like $15 to $20. Not for a whole lot of money, but I just thought it was pretty. Next is an Arizona jean hoodie, sweatshirt, sweater thing. <laughs> you, all the keywords. I feel like all of us talk like that now. Like we just talk in like keywords, like a bunch of them back to back to back. Or maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just weird. But it's just an Arizona um, jean company, which I think is sold at like Macy's. Just a nice kind of heathered purple sweatshirt. So I think it'll probably go for like $12 to $18. Nothing too spectacular, but it's a nice basic, especially for fall, the season that we're in. All right, next is a new tag from Nordstrom Rack, size small. It's a men's Callaway, which is like a golf brand, I believe, just a short sleeve polo shirt. It was sold at Nordstrom Rack for $30, so I would expect this to sell for about, eh, it'll probably sell 15 to 20, because people want deals, so yeah. Next is a Nike Therma, what is it called? It's a Nike running hoodie, kinda has like that scuba hoodie look to it. Really nice bright red. After I got it under my bright lights, I could tell that there was some light staining like on the shoulder there and there's somewhere else. Oh, just right up by the Nike symbol. You can't really see it too well. But it was just a cute running jacket. Nike does well for me. So I picked it up. Yeah, it's a dry fit. This will probably sell for like, because the stains, probably $15 to $20, but without the stains, I'd probably say closer to $25. Next is a Lane Bryant, just a beautiful burnt orange sweater. It is kind of like a square neck here, and it has like a ribbed detail around the neckline and at the cuffs and at the bottom. Um, I picked it up primarily because it was the Lane Bryant and it was perfect for the season. A fall sweater, plus size with a beautiful square neck. Yeah, it was kind of a no-brainer. Um, this will probably sell anywhere from like Probably 15 to 20 just because we're in the right season for it. Next is a men's BCG, just an athletic active wear kind of running shirt. Pitch black. It's hard to see, but it's a good basic athletic wear. It'll probably sell like uh, 10 to $15. BCG isn't a super big athletic brand. I think it's sold at um, Academy Sports. Next is a Gap body size small, which actually seems quite large to be a small, but um, it's just a men's kind of dress shirt. There was some weird pink staining up here on the collar, but I didn't notice it at first because half the shirt is pink. So I just noted it in the description. Hopefully it'll sell. It'll probably take a while to sell. So with the stain, it'll probably only sell for like 10 or 12 bucks. Next up was a Vineyard Vines Classic Fit tucker shirt let me show you that there was some writing up here on the brand tag so i didn't note that in the description but it's just a very nice very well constructed just you know a typical dress shirt for men kind of looks like graph paper <laughs> um but yeah picked it up vineyard vines i mean it these basic shirts don't sell for a whole lot of money this will probably go for like 15 to 20 dollars um but yeah i thought it was nice Next is a Little Boy's Ralph Lauren, just a button front shirt, size large, 14, 16. This will probably go for like, uh, since it's a Little Boy's, probably 10 to 15, 12, maybe 8 to 12, 12. I feel like it'll sell for 12, but I'll just say 10 to 15. Next up, I love this color. I feel like I could probably wear it too because it's a bodycon dress, but it is a women's size 1x so a plus size just a beautiful pink basic dress you could dress this up dress it down pair it with a leather jacket a denim jacket you can style this in so many different ways i just thought it was gorgeous and i feel like many sizes could wear this because it's a bodycon dress i haven't tried it on but it looks like it could fit me um but yeah it's a 1x kind of like a midi length by forever 21. it has 
<clears throat> a ton of likes on it already and I did pick this out beforehand for my challenge the reinvesting challenge that I'm doing just because I love that color I'm a sucker for that color and I feel like a lot of people are right now <clears throat> next is just a under armor just a mesh running tank this will probably only go for like 10 bucks maybe if I'm lucky all right next is just a Hagar I think that's how you pronounce it Hagar Hagar I just know it because we've had to pick up a suit for my husband from them before. The suit wasn't cheap, so I was like, oh, well, this will probably sell for like, you know, with it being used, even if it's just like 30 bucks, like that's totally fine. But it has like this very light pinstripes to it. I'm not entirely sure the size. There is a, a snag on the sleeve, which you're not gonna be able to tell because it's black and this lighting um, won't pick it up. But I'll do measurements on it, make sure I'm measuring it accurately. Suit up system. Oh, yeah, I don't see a size on it. But I picked it up. This is heavier, but it'll sell eventually. All right, last one on the rack is another men's blazer from Gap. This is a size large. It looks like it would be wool, but it's not. It's just cotton. But a nice double front blazer there. This will probably sell for probably 30, 35 bucks. I'm not really sure. I haven't picked up too many blazers, but I feel like it would be a good basic for whether it's work or they want to like dress it up and go out to eat in it or something. I'm not sure. I guess I'll keep you posted. They were nice, well constructed, and I thought I would give them a go. Let me get some water before we move on to my bin. I would say my bin of doom, but it's all folded and it's all pictured. And I just got to inventory it and then I'm good. All right, moving on. These are just some Arizona Relax straight jeans in a size 40 by 32. Basic blue jeans for men. I like this, the bigger size. Arizona sells for me, for men's jeans. Um, not for a ton, but it'll probably sell for, since it's a bigger size, maybe 20 to 25. Normally I would say 15 to 20, but maybe since it's a bigger size, I'd say 20 to 25. We'll see. I would still accept $15 for them, but yeah. Really nice, great condition. Happy about that. I'm gonna put these over here in a, a laundry basket uh, since I don't have anywhere to hang them up. There was another Arizona jeans, size 40, 32. They aren't the exact same style. This is a loose straight, but it was the same size, 40, 32. Just some men's. Basic denim jeans, picked them up again, hopefully 20 to 25, but 15 at the lowest for Arizona, just because it is a, um, it's either JCPenney or Macy's, or maybe it's both, but it's just one of those brands. Next is an Old Navy Rockstar Super Skinny. It says built-in warm, so there's like this extra layer of warmth in here, which is, I think is really cool. It's a size six and just some cute skinny jeans. Old Navy does well for me. I think a lot of people will um, pass up Old Navy, but I love Old Navy. They sell quick. This will probably only sell for like 15 bucks, so I would say 10 to 15 on them, but I think these will go for about 15. Let's see, these are the ba Banana Republic Jackson Fit size 6R, just some work pants. Um, I just picked them up because I feel like, just because I feel like work may people going to work might start happening in the new year so we'll see i haven't picked up many dress pants in the past but i know dress pants sell pretty well for my friend macy i know she does like a lot of express and i feel like banana republic is one of them anyways they were at the bin so i was like well i'll just try them so just some just a nice basic khaki it's a basic so probably 10 to 15 dollars on these is all i'm gonna expect nothing more because honestly, I wouldn't pay any more than that for them. All right, and then these next ones I was excited about. I kind of found a few of this similar size, but these are some Talbot's Heritage Crop size 16. So it is a plus size. Just some kind of like khaki cropped jeans with like a little moto zip down here at the bottom. They are a lighter wash, so they probably won't sell till springtime, and because they're cropped, but I liked them. 
and I pick them up. So this will probably sell for about 15, 12 to 18. We'll say 12 to $18 on those. Next are some little boys, 511 slim charcoal wash jeans. These sell um, usually in bundles with moms. Moms will be shopping my closet and they'll be like, oh yeah, my son needed some new jeans and they'll pick them up. So I, I really enjoy selling kids clothes because they'll sell for me. So let's see, size 14 regular, 27 by 27. So those will probably only go for like eight to $12, but I enjoy having those options there for people. Next is another pair of 16. So I think this same person donated these, but these are a new approach ANA to some distressed cropped denim jeans, well cropped jeans. Um, pick those up because of the size and because they have some distressing and they're jeans, they're cropped jeans. They sell well. So those will probably go for the ANAs, probably 15 to 20 max, probably about 15. So I'll say 12 to 18 on the ANAs. Next are some more work jeans. These are not jeans, um, some work pants, express editor pants. Oh boy, you can hardly see. I'm black on black over here. They're just basic cropped um, work pants slacks, trousers, whatever you want to call them. All of the keywords, because we only speak in keywords here. <laughs> um, and they have pockets to them. I just thought they were good for whatever. It ended up being like a dollar, less than $2 for my cost of goods. Um, I didn't mind picking that up. So that'll probably sell for, I don't know. I haven't done work pants very much. So if I were to guess 12 to $18 on those. All right, next are some loft, the Marissa style. And I just sold a pair like these, but they were new with tags. They would kind of look like this, but they were purple and more metallic-y. Um, but this is size too petite and it is, let's see, let me show you. So that's loft. And then it is the Riviera pant. And they're just some pretty, kind of like a denim blue, but like white little speckles on it. It kind of almost looks floral, but it's not floral. But these just look like they could be like the, like work semi-casual. What is it? Business casual. Business casual pants. So the Mercedes sold well for me. They sold like in a week when I put them up last time. So I decided to pick them up again. We'll see. So this will probably go for like 15 to 20 bucks. Next is a very pretty, I'm kind of picking up skirts a little bit more now. Um, I picked this up, it's a Marona. So I think this is sold at Kohl's maybe, or Target. One of those, I'm not too sure. But it's a size four, but it's like this pretty cream and gold speckled skirt. I thought this would be perfect for like New Year's or a holiday event coming up, or even just around the house wanting to spruce themselves. I thought it was pretty. And I think they have pockets, do they have pockets? They do have pockets. Even better. Good keyword there. Anyways, this will probably go for like $12 to $18. But isn't that pretty? Anyways, I just thought it was a pretty color texture combo. All right, next, I'll get this big mamma jamma out of the way. Very long but beautiful lamb's wool skirt in a women's size 18, so a plus size. But it is a very 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 long lamb's wool skirt it's gray um but it's perfect for somebody that loves to wear long skirts in the dead of winter because i'm sure it keeps you warm but um anything with like lamb's wool in it is a good keyword or wool in general it also has let's see 50 percent lamb's wool and 50 percent pure new wool so 100 percent wool has to be dry cleaned but yeah i'll probably expect to make about 20 to 25 dollars on this because of the material content I don't know how long it'll take to sell, but I feel like this was the right time to pick it up because it would sell in like the winter. So these next ones are just a lucky brand, sweet and crop, just some pants. I usually try to stay away from colored denim, but it was the bins, you guys. And it was a bigger size. So eight by 29. So it's a little bit of a bigger size, I'm not bigger, but it's like more of a normal person size. <laughs> Um, lucky brand and the reason why I picked these up because they're like they're like a mix between pink and red but I would say red um, and they would be a good holiday pant like if somebody's trying to dress up for a party but they don't really want to dress up so they just want to look a little bit more 
in the spirit of the holidays. So those will probably go for, these will probably go for hmm, 12 to $18 max on these. Lucky Brand, this red tag, Lucky Brand doesn't really sell very well for me, but at the same time, I just never know. Like I, I can kind of predict, but sometimes I can't predict, you know what I mean? These next ones are Lane Bryant, size 14. Just some tan work trousers. Just a nice basic work trousers. I kind of found all those work pants together. And because this was a bigger size and Lane Bryant, I thought I would give it a go. Next were some more Little Boys 5'11 skinny jeans. These are a 16 regular. That's what the back of the tag looks like there. Um, like I said earlier with the other ones, I just like enjoy, I enjoy picking up kids stuff because it makes a lot of mom's lives easier. Being able to shop for them or their husbands and their kids all in one fell swoop. So these will probably only go for like eight to $12. Next, I thought these were super cool. They're size 33 by 30, regular tapered jeans, but they have these cool camo contrast panels on the side. I thought they were women's at first, but I don't know if women's have this style taper. I'm not too sure. I think these are men's, 33 by 30. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Do you think these are men's or women's? I think they're men's, but I feel like they could be women's too. I don't know. Anyways, regardless, I thought they were super cool. I like the whole camo contrast there on the side and they're just some denim jeans. So these will probably go for 20 to 25 if I can figure out who they belong to. Next, so that is are super cool. Um, but these are some orange Levi's, the 900 series. So I've never seen these tags before, but they're like orange high, like super high rise denim jeans. Obviously not blue denim, but size eight but it's like Levi's 900 series. And that's what the back tag looks like as well. But super cool, high rise, big time high rise, orange kind of cropped with a raw released hem at the bottom. Thought these are cool for the fall. Um, I might not get them out in time enough for Halloween, which is a bummer. This might be good for football season too. Show their support for their team. So whoever has an orange football team, or orange is a part of their mascot colors, then I uh, got the jeans for you if you're size eight. Uh, but I just thought they were cool. So that's why I picked them up. I will do comps on them just to double check. I don't know if that's rare or not. I'll double check it all, but I think 20 to 25. All right, next are just some little boys, Peter Millar swim trunks, just some seahorses, cute little ocean themed Peter Millar. So this one doesn't have a size tag in it, but they came along, these were right next to each other in the bin, so I'm almost positive they're the same size. Um, this is a Vineyard Vine size large, little boys, swim trunks. Um, and then these just have fish on them. And then there's the Vineyard Vines brand at the bottom. Um, so I think they're both a kid's large, little boy's large. So these will probably go for like 10 to eight to twelve dollars maybe twelve dollars i don't know i'll say ten to fifteen dollars each just because they are nicer brands vineyard vines and peter molar next are some women's size 14 rockstar super skinny just some green just some green jeans i just picked them up i like the color old navy rockstars do well for me and a size 14 but i knew that this would probably be a solid 15 dollars here next are banana republic the ryan fit size six just some kind of like a peach color. Crop jeans with a moto zip down at the bottom. I thought they were nice. They probably won't sell till springtime, but I thought I'd give them a go. Some, a lot of mall brands have been selling well for me lately, so I'm like, okay, well, we'll try it. Maybe if they don't do well, then one of these days I'll send them to like thread up or something. All right, next are American Eagle men's extreme flex cargo shorts. American Eagle always sells well for me. Um, these shorts, they kind of are, can you, I don't know if you can tell that with the lighting, but they're kind of like dark up here and then light up here or down at the bottom. So these will probably only go for like 10 to $15. I'm not too sure with that light, the discoloration there. All right, next are these J brand, the Kenzie, I guess. Blue jeans, blue pants. 
blue jeans? I don't, they're not jeans, but they have like this, it's like a lighter blue on the front and then there's a contrast panel right there, slightly darker, but this will be my first time selling J Brand, so we shall see. I think it'll sell anywhere from like 20 to $25, but I could have been wrong on those comps. I just did quick comps at the store. But these are size 30. We'll see, so maybe 20 bucks. All right, next are just some brown Rockstar skinny jeans from Old Navy. Size six, brown. Everybody doesn't like brown, but some people like brown. So I was like, eh, we'll try them. That might have been just one of those, like, the rock star. They'll probably eventually sell. It'll probably sell for, like, $10 max on those just because of the color. But if a brown pants, if brown pants were to sell, this would be the time of the year for them to sell. Y'all, it gets hot under these lights. All right, next are these 511 Tactical leggings well actually they're like crop leggings but super cool just some athletic gym workout pants so these will probably I think actually I picked one of these as my challenge item so I think these will probably sell for like 15 to 20 dollars maybe I think 20 if I'm not mistaken but I'll just say 15 and 20. Next are some NYDJ not your daughter's jeans size 16W and these are the AMI skinny leggings with the lift and tuck lift and tuck technology just some gray skinny jeans and my last nydj in a bigger size like this sold for 35 dollars so but they were like denim jeans so i think these would probably sell for like 25 ish we'll say 20 to 25 on these all right Ooh, these actually sold so i need to put these aside these are some universal thread size 8 29 regular just some distressed skinny jeans these already sold so and i have another thing in here that sold as well they sold in a bundle this morning because i got them listed um but these sold for 15 dollars so i would have said about 15 to 20 so 15 dollars they did sell in a bundle that's why i gave her that deal so i'm gonna put these aside because i gotta package them up along those same lines she also bundled these pants. These were a size medium, about a 29 inch waist. Some Hayden leggings. When I looked them up, well, I mean, they're cool. They're like a moto style pants, like kind of like a rocker style um, with a little elastic waist. I thought they were cool, but when I looked them up on Poshmark, when I did comps in the Goodwill, they were selling for like $10, $15 for this brand. But I'm like, ah. Oh, I'm gonna trust my gut and go with the style. I like the style. My my style geniusness skills paid off. So these also sold for $15. I probably would have said anywhere from eight to 12, but these sold for 15. So I was excited about that. Put these aside and yeah, two things already sold. Actually three things already sold. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that one. Um, it was like one of the first things I listed and I meant to get it for myself. Put it up on the screen. It was a Colorado just a graphic t-shirt, um, just some mountains on it. I think I just said it was like a mountain graphic t-shirt. Somebody bought it for $8 on eBay and yeah, it's already on its way to its new home. But that was a part of this Goodwill Bins thing, but it sold so quick. I was surprised, I actually wanted to keep it, but um, I decided to list it instead. All right, next are these Lucky Brand 221 Original Straight Jeans for men. Let's see. 221 original straight lucky brand lucky brand men's jeans to do well for me there's the back tag not a whole bunch of money but some basic light wash jeans these will probably go for like 20 bucks these i think are i don't know i'm gonna have to get your opinion on these i need to do a little bit more research because i these might be fake i might have to re-return them but they're the brand escada which is a designer brand. Um, I mean, these aren't like a super spectacular piece, but they're interesting. I don't know if it's real or not. There is the brand tag. The only reason why I think it might not be is like the, the letters look a little bit out of, like not in order, like that D might not be right, but it says this is 42 made in Italy. And the inside tag says, 
mean, the inside tag makes me think it's real, but it says who it was made for, Escada, and it gives like their manufacturer address down, down in there. So I'm like, well, maybe they are real, I don't know. But this button threw me off and because when I looked at them online, it had like their symbol right there instead of the Escada in the button. They had like this symbol on the big button. So I'm not sure, but these are just some maybe designer pants. They're like black with like metallic, metallic flex in them. Kind of like a pinstripe, but they're like metallic-y. I don't know. I don't know if they're real or not. And it had like this big Escada logo on the back. <clears throat> Even if they are, I mean, they're not like the best thing from this designer. But, like honestly, maybe max like 35 or $40 because they are gently used. I don't really know, we'll see. Let me know in the comments below if you think these are real Escada or if they're not, should I just re-return them? I did have them pictured and I was gonna list them but I'm like, I don't know for sure. The zipper says YKK, so it feels nice. I think it might be real but at that same time, maybe 30, 35 dollars for these. I wouldn't expect a whole lot. All right, maybe last of the pants. No, I have a few pants that I accidentally started packaging up without thinking about it, needing to do my haul. All right, and these are just some little girls, just Athletic Works size large sweatpants. Very cute, just has like a little metallic-y tie on the front. All right, and then I just have some Adidas track shorts. I'm gonna put a picture up here because I already have these listed and I accidentally already packaged them up. But just some extra small Adidas track shorts. Um, these will probably only go for like 10 to 15, 10 to 15 dollars maybe max. And then these are the American Eagle. They're size zero long, but they're the highest rise jeggings. They are just black, but I'll put them up here. Super stretch, highest rise. These call for more money because they are the highest rise. So I'm, I think I'm starting them at 35 and I won't accept anything lower than 25 on them. Yeah, and that's it for all the pants. We are very close to finishing, guys. Oh, I have all the shoes still, but hopefully I'll go through those quicker. This is just a Under Armour size medium, just a polo. Athletic polo, it'd be good for, I don't know, casual wear, going golfing. Um, it does have some writing up here, I guess whoever the owner was, H-E-N, by the brand, but it's just a men's athletic polo. It's like dry fit feels like dry fit. Loose fit. I'm gonna make another pile in here. Um, Vineyard Vines, size medium, the same owner, H-E-N. Thanks, Hen, whoever you are. I got a lot of your stuff. Vineyard Vines, um, just a graphic tee of kind of like a resort, I would think. Is that a, an island? I can't really tell backwards on the camera, but just a nice little graphic tee. Size medium. This will probably sell for, ooh, I forgot to say this. This will probably sell for like 15 to 20 dollars. 15 to 20 on the Under Armour and then about the same on the Vineyard Vines. And then we have a Clemson Tigers size medium. So just a size medium, I would say probably unisex, but I think I'll list it probably as men's. Clemson Tigers, just a graphic t-shirt since we're in football season. This will probably sell for like 15 to 20 dollars as well. A red basic men's Carhartt work shirt. This will probably sell for like 10 bucks. Ooh, I love this one. Some guy actually picked it up, but then it was his the wrong size for him. And so he's like, hey, do you want this? It looks like you uh, are selling your stuff. <laughs> um, I said, sure. It's a Vineyard Vines Christmas green, a long sleeve. You can tell there is a Santa Claus hat right there. And then big old Santa Claus hat on the back. Super cool. It's a men's extra small, so it could be like a women's small or medium but I liked it. So this will probably go for like 15 to 20 bucks as well. Next is a little boys polo sport, just an athletic long sleeve. There was a stain on the front down at the bottom. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, you probably can't. It's very light, it's nothing bad. Usually parents don't care all that much because kids are kids, but that'll probably sell for like eight, six to $10. Next is a the Nike tee, athletic cut, just a cool graphic tee. You could probably wear it, a guy could wear it to the gym. And it's like a, it's like black and neon pink to be completely honest. 
So I thought it was cool. That'll probably sell for like 10 to $15. Next is a Columbia Super Tamiami. Ta Tamiami? T-A-M-I-A-M-I. -I, I am butchering that. I know I am with my southern accent. But um, PFG. PFG always sells well for me or it sells quick. Um, this one might take a little bit longer because it's blatantly like spring and summer colors, but just a button up short sleeve casual performance fishing gear shirt. Size small, right? Yeah, size small. So like $15 to $20 on that. And then we have a, another shirt from Hen, my good friend Hen. Um, this is a Southern Tide size medium. Um, it's a fly fishing graphic t-shirt with fish on the back. This will probably go for 15 to 20 bucks as well. I just sold Southern Tide for the first time, maybe a month ago, and it was nothing like this, but um, it sold for like 20 bucks, I think. This next one I thought was funny. I don't know if it's too soon, but um, it <laughs> it's Corona Extra. I mean, I, I don't I don't drink it, but um, I'm sure there's a lot of people that do, and I feel like I've seen these at the beach before. Like people use this as a beach cover up, but it's just a Corona tropical touristy type of dress for the summer. It's a size, let's see, medium. So I thought it was cool. Somebody might like it. So pick that up. That'll probably go for, this will probably go for, I don't know, like 15 bucks maybe. Nothing super spectacular, but I just thought it was interesting. And then the last clothing piece. Oh my gosh, is this the last one? I think this is the last clothing piece. Forever 21 um, size 3X, which is why I picked it up. Just a teal long sleeve bodysuit. So I know bodysuits are super in. I don't know how bodysuits do for plus size, but I like the color. I like picking up basics for people. I feel like sometimes people don't pick up basics. So I picked that up. We shall see how it does. I think it has a few likes on it already. I did get it listed, but I would expect 10 to $15 on that. And that is it for the clothes. Now I have 13 shoes and then we will wrap this haul up. So first off, I have some shoes I need to clean. You know, I put off shoes for a while. I wait till I have a bunch of shoes and then I just knock them out over a few days, but I don't really enjoy cleaning shoes to be completely honest. So I kind of hold off on them. These need to be cleaned up a little bit, um, but these are five finger, the Vibram soles. Some running shoes. I, I think they would end up being a women's size seven based on what I've compared them to. But the last five fingers that I got sold less than, sold within less than a day for like 25 or 30 bucks and they were like a similar condition. So I saw those and I said, yes, please. Next are these Tiva sandals, which also need to be cleaned up. I have not cleaned up these yet. Shoes are always on my back burner. Can anybody relate to that? They might not. I might get poo-pooed on for that, but you know, to each their own, right? Some Tiva sandals, they're like the Aztec, there's Tiva, but they have like that Aztec boho. Um, fabric right there. So they just need to be cleaned up. These will probably go for like 20 bucks. Yeah, I think they go for like 20 to 30 depending on the condition. So I'll, I'll say 20 on these. Next, I felt these first and Leopard is in. Um, I looked them up and they go for like anywhere from 20 to $30 as well. Um, but they are the brand Echo. And you can just feel that they're like calf hair type of material. I don't know if there's any writing on these, but they are a size 36, a European size 36. So these would be about a six in women's, a six and a half, something like that. Next, I love these. I picked these up pretty much based on style because we're in fall, but look at these. They're so cute. Look at those sparkly little booty. I love those. So pick these up. These are Gianni Benny. Benny? Gianni Benny. Benny? Those are cool. I love those. I wish they were an eight because I would have kept them because I'm a size eight, but these are a size seven. Um, just some cool sparkly ankle booties. I looked these up and they are going for like 25 to 30 bucks, um, which I think is so cool. I think they're the merch shoot. What were they called? The Mackie booty, something like that. But I thought these are super cool. Great for fall. I need to pick up more booties. Um, yeah, size seven. Yeah, I thought those were a good pickup. Those will sell for 25 bucks for me. Next are just some basic gray toms. I kind of need to reshape these. I know I'm bad, um, but these will probably go for like 15 bucks. 
These are kind of a bigger size Toms for women. And then we'll go to like the little kids shoes. So I picked up these little girl, just some fringe boho little boots. I thought they were cute. I think some mom would love these. Um, let's see what size, size nine, little Heather, I think is what they're called, but some, it's by the brand Rampage, but these will probably sell for like eight to 12 bucks, maybe 10 bucks, eight bucks, something like that. I just thought they were cute for fall. Next are just some little boys, Adidas kicks, some sneakers, tennis shoes, really cool. There, um, uh, there's some snags on them on the fabric, but these will probably sell for like 10 to 15 bucks. Little boys athletic shoes sell well for me. Pick these up based on style. They're not my personal style, but I know somebody's style, some mom style, some cute little pink cowgirl boots. Oh, they were cool. Size, let's see, 12 and a half little girls. Oh, aren't those cute? Perfect for fall. And then some sparkly little girl vans, high tops. They're a little beat up. They're actually really not that bad to be honest, but they're vans off the wall. What size are they? Size 13 and a half little girls. So these would probably sell for like 10 to 15 bucks. Same the boots, I don't know if I said that. The boots will probably go for like 10 bucks. All right, next are another pair of Black Dan Post cowboy boots. I picked up another pair of these on my last Goodwill Bins trip and then I conveniently found another pair. Um, just some, they're kind of beat up so they'll probably only go for like 20 or 25 bucks this time. But yeah, Dan Post, they're made in, the, in, um, in America so they always sell pretty well for me. So 20, 25 bucks on those due to the condition but Dan Post sells well. And funny enough, I found a another pair of like wingtip shoes, Johnson and Murphy, um, for men. These are very, actually in pretty good condition. These are size nine and a half, which is a pretty average size for guys. Wingtip, the bottoms look great. And you can see the Johnson and Murphy down here. But these will probably go for like 35 to 40 bucks. And now these, I'm gonna need your guys help on this. Um, I didn't know, I can't, still can't find them, but I'm sure I can, I'm just gonna spend a little bit more time on them. But these are Converse. I thought it was Star Wars print on them, but I could be wrong, I'm, I'm really not sure. Yeah, initially they look like Star Wars to me, but they're like these high top Converse. They're like a brown shade. I don't know what kind of cartoon that is. It looked like Star Wars, but I don't think it is. I could be wrong, or a comic. It's like some sort of comic comic book um and then just some plaid on the other side i thought they were cool i just don't know exactly what they are i feel like somebody might like them they're, they're size 12 so i know they're men's yeah i think i just thought they were cool so if i can figure it out or if you guys know please let me know in the comments below but these will probably go for like 20 or 25 bucks and finally the last pair of shoes just some nike um lunar swift tennis shoes for men just some basic athletic shoes these will probably sell for like 20 bucks once everything is all clean. So that is it, you guys. Um, let me run my numbers. So based on my expected sales price from all these 81 items, I initially spent $151.14. My expected sale price is anywhere from $1184 to $1589. So taking the average or right in the middle there, it'd be about $1385 that I would expect to make from this entire haul. So after subtracting 20% selling fees from assuming Poshmark because it's the highest, I would be left with $1108, which means after subtracting my cost of goods, I would be left with a net profit of $956.86. So not too bad for three hours of work at the Goodwill bins and then about three to four hours taking care, prepping all the items and taking pictures of all the items and then later shipping it out. So the bins is kind of where it's at guys. I really enjoy having my cost of goods that low. Um, it was a little bit higher than what I wanted for the bins, but $1.87 per item, you really can't beat it. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you hit the like button on your way out because it really does support my channel. If you haven't seen my thrift with me, make sure you go and check that out. The link will be in the description below. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Until my next video, guys, I hope you have a good one. Take care. Bye.